Mm. What is the plan which God has made for the whole mankind and the how that uh, uh, he gave uh, ransom for the whole mankind. So we see that uh, uh, the first class we, uh, we saw that uh, how uh, uh, the Bible has to be studied. <clears throat> so do you remember anybody how to study the Bible? So there are actually three important keys to understand the Bible. So can anybody tell me what are the three important keys to understand the Bible? Here and there, sir. Very good. Here a little, there a little. Good. Yeah. Next, uh, which is the key? Okay. The next uh, key is uh, to search the scriptures and uh, read. So we need to... Yeah. Uh, search the Bible and read. Uh, see, see, this is the first golden key that you understand uh, how to study the Bible. Uh, and uh, the second one is, uh, uh, you see, seek key out of the book. So, search from the Bible. So, these are the two uh, keys. And the third key is uh, study <clears throat> to show thyself approved and uh, rightly dividing the word of God. This is the third key uh, which we have studied. So using these key only, we have uh, seen so many examples uh, from the Bible. Like, uh, what is the meaning of uh, this one? Uh, Jesus said in Matthew, you know, that uh, uh, it is hardly difficult for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God, but uh, the camel can enter the needle side. What is the meaning of this one? What's up, brother? Can you tell me? What yeah, is brother, I, uh, that's what uh, Jesus tell about the a uh, needle i that uh, which is closed after 6 pm uh, i think about city of the jerusalem very good very good exactly correct so this is actually speaking about the uh, the fortress of uh, city of jerusalem uh, which had a lot of doors uh, and it was uh, uh, you see closed uh, after uh, 6 pm and after 6 pm you see the small gate was opened that was called as the needle sai so jesus was referring to this one only so while studying the Bible, uh, we need to keep uh, these points uh, on how to study the Bible. And uh, we also saw that Adam uh, ate the fruit but did not die the same day. So did God uh, tell a lie that uh, in a day you eat the fruit thereof, you shall surely die? What is the meaning of this one? Krishna Bhattar, can you tell me? What is the meaning of this one? That Why did not Adam die the same day? Adam died same day because uh, first Peter said uh, God's one day equal to 1,000 year for human being. Very good, very good. Exactly correct. So here actually Jesus was the one who pronounced that uh, judgment. So he said in the day you eat the fruit thereof means a uh, day with the Lord uh, is a thousand years. Very good. So excellent. So in the last uh, we also studied about uh, uh, how 10 methods are uh, there uh, to study the Bible. You see? Do you remember the 10 methods? Anybody remembers the, one, some of the methods among the 10 methods? Yeah, or, uh, uh, direct method, uh, indirect uh, symbolic language also, very good. Uh, parabolic language. Very good, very good. Good. So, uh, the, dream uh, also, dream. Correct. Dreams, visions, uh, type, and yeah, type. Prophetic, prophetic language also. Yes, prophetic language is also good. So, um, Mm. Many, many more uh, topic. Uh, I think topical study. Topical study. Good, good. Okay, Krishna, brother, can you name anybody? Some of the things which brother Mausam has left. Do you remember any of those things? So dreams, vision, apocalyptic. Mm. Okay. Good. Anything else? Contextual study also. Brother. Very good. Context study also. So yeah, you can see here. Uh, hey, some of the uh, methods about here. timing also. Timing also. Very which, good. On which timing? Very uh, good. Very good. Very good. So you can see here. Uh, I'll show you. So the ten uh, methods to unlock the Bible is that uh, these are the ten. Uh, you see uh, methods. Okay. So direct, uh, symbolic, uh, uh, type, uh, anti-type. Uh, uh, dreams, visions, uh, dispensational, and a prophetic method, and uh, contextual study, and chronological and topical method. 
So using these methods only, uh, we can understand the Bible better. Okay, good. So this is the uh, first subject we saw. After this one, we studied uh, uh, other subject also, uh, which is that one. I'll just, uh, you see, uh, open that for you. Just a moment. The next uh, subject, uh, what we saw is that uh, how Jesus uh, is the world uh, savior. You see, we saw that uh, subject, uh, how Jesus became the world savior, while uh, uh, how uh, one person can die for the entire uh, mankind. Uh, that's what uh, we saw in this subject. Uh, okay. Mm. One minute. Okay, so the second class we studied about the ransom, that how Jesus Christ died for the entire mankind. Can one person die for all? Is it possible? Krishna Badar, Mosa Badar, can one person die for all? No, sir. But Jesus died, no? Jesus died for... How did Actually, die? Jesus died for Adam and we have Adamic sin uh, and Adam Adam represented all humankind. Very good. Excellent. Correct. So if you see actually Jesus Christ could give his one life to only one person and that one person <laughs> is none other than Adam. <laughs> Jesus actually died and gave his life a ransom for Adam. So why Adam? Because Sin entered into this world through one person, that is Adam. Adam was the one who ate the forbidden fruit when God told not to eat. And uh, through him only, what happened? Uh, sin, sickness, death and all came upon everybody. That is only through one person. So the logic is that if uh, everybody is suffering death because of one person, and uh, if uh, one person is redeemed, automatically we all died in Adam will be saved. That is the logic what we see in this uh, subject. Okay. So, in, so in the Bible, Jesus is called as the second Adam. Uh, we'll see here. One minute. See, you see here. So the, Jesus is called as the second Adam in the Bible. So, Jesus gave his life for Adam. If Adam is redeemed, automatically the entire generation of Adam they will also be redeemed. And uh, uh, when will this uh, be affected? Uh, how will this be affected for the entire mankind? See, Jesus died for one mankind. Okay, good. But what is the use? Everybody are dying, no? So when will that uh, uh, the result of the ransom, the effect of the ransom, when will it uh, happen for the whole world? Uh, Mosa can you tell me? For a whole world. Mm. Jesus died yeah. for everybody. No? So what is the use? And when will it be affected? So when will the world enjoy the result of Jesus' death? See, now we are enjoying it because we are accepting Jesus Christ as a savior. But what about the world? They are not accepting Jesus as a savior. No? They are still in a... I think after the resurrection. When? When will that happen? When will the resurrection happen? Uh, resurrection happen... Uh, second coming of Jesus. Very good. So when uh, Jesus Christ is going to come at the second coming, what will he do? Will he be on the earth just for a few moments and just rejected everybody and uh, just uh, go away? Um, no, he will uh, clear the scene. No? Okay. So how will he clear? Will he take just a fraction of a moment and clear the scene or will he take any uh, period? What is the period that uh, Jesus is going to take period uh, i think uh, automatically transformation i think hmm. krishna brother tell me what is the period with jesus uh, 
we take when after the second coming? Thousand years, sir. Very good. So Jesus mm -hmm. is going to return second coming and uh, he is going to rule for thousand years. Thousand. Yeah. So that is the time that you see all the dead people, uh, you see, will come back to life. So Christ, uh, what is going to do when the thousand years? Uh, first thing, what is going to do? Who is going to bound? Satan, sir. Very good. So Jesus is going to bind Satan for a period of thousand years. Excellent. Good. Okay. Then uh, uh, we also saw, uh, you see, the next uh, subject, uh, what we saw is that about a uh, three world. Hmm? Hope you remember yeah. the three world subject. I'll just open that uh, PPT for you for better understanding. Okay, see, we can see here, we studied about the three world. The first world, the second world, and the th third world. Can anybody tell me uh, which was the period of the first world? From when to when? Adamic world, sir. A Adam to? <coughs> Noah. Good, good. Excellent. Good. Okay. Master Mother, when was the period of the second world? Uh, after Noah, Noah to... Uh, the second coming of Jesus. Very good. So third world, when will it happen? I think uh, for 1000 years. Good, good. Fine. Okay. So in this one, the main thing, what we studied about uh, uh, the uh, three worlds is that uh, there's going to be a heaven and the earth. So what is the meaning of heaven in the Bible? Jesus also said, no, that heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall never pass away. Did he really mean about the heaven? That means the where God himself is living, that heaven itself shall pass away. It will be no more. What is the meaning of heaven in the Bible? I think the heaven is uh, uh, 1,000 years uh, to stay with God in this world is heaven. Is it? Okay. Uh, Krishna Bhattar, you have any idea? What is the meaning of heaven in the Bible? Heaven, there is uh, three three layers of heaven one is uh, our atmosphere and second one is uh, above uh, like uh, we saw see star and uh, that things and after that there is another one heaven which we can't reach and any anyone no no one can reach which is the throne throne of uh, god that is good. called third heaven good okay See, actually, these are not, uh, uh, see, this is the three meanings of the heaven, what you told. Very good. I appreciate it. But the heavens, what we studied in the three world is none of uh, these things. We actually studied about the three systems. See, actually, in the first world, what happened? The heaven and the earth was destroyed. Okay? In the first yeah. world, what happened? The heaven and the earth was destroyed. So, heaven means what? Uh, if you see in the Bible, the invisible ruling. Uh, in the first world, who were ruling in the heavens, if you see, actually it was the angels, the fallen angels, you see. They were given the power to manifest and demanifest in the flesh, isn't it? And yes, they were yes. the ones who were ruling in the, you see, earth atmosphere. Okay? So in the flood, what happened? God destroyed uh, this, uh, you see, uh, angelic uh, rule. You see, you see uh, they were gigantic angels. Uh, they used to come and manifest in the flesh and they used to have a uh, relationship with the uh, uh, women, female of this uh, world, and uh, to them, James were born. So what happened, if you see in the first world, the entire earth was corrupted. In the earth, it was filled with James, and in the heaven, you see, it was actually uh, filled with uh, all these uh, fallen angels. So, if you see, uh, the first world was totally uh, corrupted. So, this system, this system of the fallen angels and the James, God destroyed in the uh, first world. So we have seen all these things and all. Uh, that is the time the Noah built the ark. And uh, what happened uh, when the uh, flood came, the canopy, the water canopy, which was above the earth, it was totally destroyed. And uh, uh, if you see what happened uh, in the flood, if you see all the giants, uh, they all perished in the flood. Uh, but uh, what happened to the fallen angels? Did they perish in the flood? They were in the flesh? No. Did they perish in the flood, brother? 
मौसम तक कैन यू टेल मी डिड दे परिश इन द फ्लड आई थिंक द सिंक ऑन फ्लड और हाँ मेबी दे गोन ऑफसाइड आई डोंट नो अबाउट इट करेक्ट एक्चुअली दे हैड द पावर टू चेंज नेचर they had the power to change from uh, earthly nature to spiritual nature once yeah. the flood came they escaped in the spiritual nature now where are they did they go to heaven no god never took them to heaven they are bound in earth atmosphere from there only they are doing all the evil activities so since then what happened the second world uh, you see began and uh, in the second world also there is a heaven and the earth you see no there is a heaven and earth uh, one minute i see there is heaven and the earth now again in the second world uh, the invisible rulership is none other than the satan and the fallen angels but the only difference between the first world and second world is that they used to manifest in the flesh here no manifestation is taking place but they can possess human beings from their itself so who are on the earth if you see it is the corrupt ministers hmm? you see we can see here one minute See how Satan is ruling uh, on this world. If you see, it is uh, uh, through this. Uh, you see, uh, see, it is uh, through the fallen angels, and uh, Earth is a representative of human beings. It is through this system that he is ruling. Right now, we can see. Can we see Satan from our naked eyes? No, no. But yet we know that he is ruling. How? Because of his signs. From Correct. So, all uh, the evil activities we come to know that it is uh, none other than the Satan's rule that is happening. So, similarly, Christ when he is going to return, he is going to destroy all these things and set up his own kingdom. So, there are two parts of the kingdom. One is heavenly part and the earthly part. That is the meaning of the heaven and the earth. The second heaven and the second earth will be destroyed, and next comes the third heaven, which Jesus is going to rule. The third setup of uh, Society that is going to be on the earth. So who is going to be with Jesus? Who is going to rule the, with Jesus? The one who get free from his sin. Who is it? Is it uh, uh, any other people who are living no. uh, in uh, different faith of this world? No, who follow Jesus. Correct. That was also follow Jesus. Correct. These are the. You see, like and forty-four thousand who are going to rule invisibly with Christ, and on earth, who is going to be there? On the earth, who is going to be the visible representative on earth? Somebody should be there, no? Prime minister, chief minister. See, some ministers should be there on the earth, no? Because Christ and the church will be invisible on the sky. So, who will be visible rulers on the earth? Okay. It is going to be the ancient bodies, the list of faith warriors, the Old Testament faithful warriors. You see, they will be on the earth. They will take care of all this one on one, each and every department. It will be aviation, food, uh, you see, forest, uh, finance. All these departments will be handled by the ancient bodies. Okay, good. So we have studied uh, uh, this uh, subject also, and apart from that, the main topic which we studied about. Uh, human soul so what happens to the soul when a man dies what happens to the soul what some brother can tell me what happens to the soul uh human soul hmm will go on judgment will go on judgment okay but uh We saw in the Bible, no, that uh, what does the Bible say? Ezekiel eighteen four. You have the Bible with you? Yes, I have. Uh, can you read, brother? Ezekiel eighteen four. Ezekiel eighteen four. Correct.
Krishna Badar, you are there online? Behold, all soul uh, are yes, mine. Yes, sir, I am here, sir. Uh, I am listening, sir. Uh, uh, yeah, <coughs> yes, brother. Uh, behold, all souls are mine. As the soul of the Father, so all also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul, the sin, it, it shall die. The soul dies. The Bible clearly yeah. tells that the soul dies. So we when... saw... More than 40 scriptures which prove clearly that soul dies. So as soon as a man dies, uh, the false belief uh, that uh, soul goes here and all uh, are not there in the scriptures at all. So we had a lengthy class about this one, nearly around uh, uh, six to seven classes we saw. How clearly we see from the scriptures that a soul dies. So what is the definition of soul, soul as per the Bible? If you say... It says the man doesn't have a soul. The man himself is a soul. That's what the Bible says. And uh, we saw uh, how this uh, soul came into existence. You see, uh, Genesis 2 7, brother. Genesis 2 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostril. The breath of life and a man become a living soul. See, man became a living soul. You see, he had a body. He was formed from the dust of the ground. It had a body, but did not have breath of life. Once when God gave the breath of life, he became a living soul. So soul, it actually has two things. To become a soul, you need to have two things. That means a body and a breath of life. You see, the spirit, the breath of life. Then only... You have the soul. That's what we saw. So once you take out the breath of life, automatically what happened? There is no soul at all. And we are seen, we are seen the relationship of this. Area. We saw the example of a TV. You see, the TV is functioning good, isn't it? But TV is just like a body. Okay, it needs current to work properly. Similarly. Uh, man is having a body, but without the breath of life, it doesn't function at all. So, what happens? Uh, once this uh, current comes uh, and unites properly with the TV, body, what comes? Uh, program comes. Uh, similarly, the body should be properly united with the spirit of life, uh, breath of life. Uh, then only we have that, uh, what do you call as? Uh, the soul. So, we saw clearly, a lengthy discussion we had, uh, okay, the soul dies. And uh, the, we also saw what is the me Hebrew and the so uh, you see Greek uh, meaning of soul, nefesh uh, and suki and how it is translated in various ways. Uh, we also saw the uh, Hebrew uh, meaning for uh, spirit uh, is ruwa and uh, the Greek is pneuma which signifies uh, you see uh, invisible uh, power to live and we saw that uh, this is not oxygen. Okay, this is something like uh, electricity. You see, in the uh, streets, we see, you know, a lot of electrical wires are there, but we can't see electricity flowing in it, but we can feel it. Similarly, the spirit uh, is something which is invisible, but yet uh, powerful. So we have seen all these things and all, and uh, uh, we saw that, uh, is there any difference between the breath of life for uh, animals and human beings, brother? Do both have the same breath of life or uh, different? Uh, I think animal doesn't have soul. They have spirit only. So, actually, if you see in the Bible, uh, the animals also have a soul because they themselves are a soul. Not that man is having a soul. We just have saw now. Who is a soul? Man himself is a soul. Not that man has a soul. Genesis 2 7, we read now, brother. So man became a living soul. So once he dies, that means soul is dead. So just because the soul is dead, that is the reason that Jesus came and gave a ransom. You see, if uh, we are not supposed to die, if there is no debt at all, that as soon as we die, we go here and there and all, then uh, what Satan told to Eve was the truth, uh, that you shall surely not die after death. What will happen? You shall go here and there and all. Where does the Bible say? Huh? Bible never says, it says, uh, in the day you eat the fruit thereof, you shall surely, huh? 
I die. Yes, die means death. Death for what? Ah, death for so longly. You see, if a soul was supposed to escape here and there and all, then why? Eh? Therefore, it is. Ah, eh? we ah uh, like example of a house. Ah, eh? the power to write to live on this earth was given by God. So once that period uh, over, what will happen? That power in his power goes back to God. So. And uh, we also saw, you see, uh, what happened uh, when uh, examples of Stephen. Stephen, when he died, uh, what did he surrender to God? Uh, he surrendered the spirit, uh, the breath of life to God. Uh, not that he surrendered his soul. And uh, uh, we also saw, no, uh, the relationship uh, between the soul, body, uh, and the spirit uh, in Ezekiel thirty-seven chapter. Remember, no, Krishna brother, Moses brother, you remember? Yeah. Can you tell me what is the point we studied in Ezekiel thirty-seven? What happened in Ezekiel thirty-seven? All that uh, bone uh, came on one place and became a living body. Hmm, living huh? soul. Very good, living soul. Okay, Krishna brother, huh? what uh, joined together first initially? What came? Yes, sir. What happened in Ezekiel thirty-seven? We saw, we saw no. Ezekiel was taken to a valley of dry bones. So, yeah. God, so when he prophesied, what happened? Bone came, and uh, Ezekiel prophesied about uh, that wind comes or wind come. Hmm. Wind came, and that hmm. bone became a body, and that after that. Uh, they became a soul, sir. Living what, what, soul. What was not there? See, everything came joined yes, together. Uh, bones. Yeah, joined uh, together, sir. Huh? Yes, joined together, sir. Correct. Uh, see, yeah, bones came. Bone joined together. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, bones came, flesh came, skin came, everything came. But what was yeah. not there in it? Last breath, sir. Day. Breath. What breath, what sir? Was... Correct breath. Uh, so what did uh, uh, Ezekiel do? Ezekiel prophesied, right now? Prophesied, yes, yes, sir. So what happened? The breath came and entered into the, you see, dead body. And what happened? Yeah, uh, it became and that soul. dead body became a living soul. Yes. So here we see the beautiful relationship between the, you see, body and the soul. Okay. And uh, we also saw that what happens to man after death. You see. Is he, does he go to any place? Is he roaming around in this earth? After death, is man roaming around in this earth here and there and all? No, sir. No, he is resting in peace. Correct, no? We see, no? So many people who died. They all slept. They all slept. Where was Lazarus when he died? Moses, brother, where did Lazarus go after his death? Lazarus uh, go on. Uh, lab of Adam, uh, uh, Abraham. Oh, this Lazarus. I'm speaking about the Lazarus whom Jesus raised back to life. Oh, <laughs> when, when did he go? He was three days. <coughs> he... <coughs> hmm. Where did he go? Three days. Did he go to any sightseeing? Did he go to any trip? Lazarus go um, heaven. Oh, you went to heaven? No, no. He just see a, a rich man there. Ah. And rich man asks water. I think where is it? <laughs> then why did Jesus call back Lazarus back when Mary and Martha came and cried? No, he told yeah. no. What did he tell? Don't worry. I am the resurrection, the life. Correct, no? Yes. He yes, could have told, yes. no, don't worry, Martha, Mary, don't yes. worry. See, your brother is there in heaven. He could have told, no? He, he, he didn't tell. Why? Lazarus is sleeping. Ah, correct. Correct. That means Lazarus is dead. The soul is dead. So after death, it doesn't go to Abraham's bosom or hell or heaven or nothing. All these things are weird imagination. We have studied about the Lazarus. And the rich man. 
what is it is it a, a real incident or is it a parable krishna brother what is the meaning of richman lazarus is it a real incident it is parable sir it is yes. parable sir yes luke 16 chapter it comes it is a yeah. parable that has got nothing to do with this uh, lazarus so if Jalazos was really in heaven, why would uh, really Jesus call him back to earth to suffer? He's enjoying in heaven. No, he's very happy in heaven. Why do you call him back? Instead of Lazarus being called, uh, he could have sent Martha and Maria to the same place. No, Did Jesus do that one? No. No. That is a clear definition. So, so when resting, in the... peace means, uh, resting in peace means our body, uh, the death of the body. Correct. We are all, that means uh, our existence is no more. We are just waiting on the Lord. Oh. Waiting for what? Waiting for the Lord's second coming. Once the Lord's second coming happens, then only what will happen? All the dead souls will be raised from Raising. the graves. You see, that's what Jesus said, no? Huh? What did he say? John 5th chapter, huh? 28, 29. Marvel Lord of this. All that are in the grave shall hear my voice and come back. Correct now, Jesus said no. Read brother, John 5 28, brother. Krishna, Mosa Mother, read. John 5 25. Hmm, 28. John 5 28, okay, brother. Uh, Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in the which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice. Mm. And continue. And shall come forth ah. they that have done good. See? They shall come forth. Not that they already come forth. They will. Not that they, uh, they already come. No, no. They will come. A time is there. Therefore, John 3.13. Read with that. John 3.13. John 3.13 And no man has ascended up to heaven but, the, but he that came down from heaven even the son of man which is in heaven. Did anybody go to heaven? No. Jesus himself is saying nobody has gone to heaven. Therefore Bible says the soul die. So we also saw that after death can anybody, dead soul, come back to house and visit you? No. Uh, we also saw now, all these things are ghost stories. And uh, you see, uh, uh, Atma coming, uh, soul coming back to life and all. All these things are, uh, you see, unscriptural. The Bible doesn't support all these things. Uh, because Bible clearly tells that the soul, what happens to the soul? The soul dies. dies. Clearly, very good. Okay. And uh, uh, we also saw um, like uh, uh, so many incidents, uh, you see, about uh, soul, uh, you see, uh, one minute, I'll open that one for you. Mm. So many incidents uh, which give us idea uh, about, uh, uh, you see, uh, dead persons coming back to life. Uh, we, all, we saw those clarifications, no? Uh, like... Uh, Mm, soul. Uh, soul, Samuel, sir. Samuel, uh, sir. Samuel. Correct, correct. Samuel, is it a real incident? No, sir. Correct. I, real Samuel did not come. So, who was the one who showed yeah. Samuel there? Hmm? If you see, it was actually, huh? Huh? if you see there, it is actually the devil. Huh? You see, he was uh, personifying. Uh, uh, to be the dead, uh, you see, uh, Samuel, isn't it? Uh, we saw that uh, uh, moment the man dies, uh, he's no more. So there's no memory coming back to the house, uh, roaming here and there. All these things are all not scriptural at all. So we have seen so many scriptures, okay? The dead cannot uh, come back. Uh, and um, what about the All Souls Day? If you go to the graveyard and if you pray to the dead, will the dead persons come back? Will they know anything? They don't know anything. They won't come. Yes, they won't come. They don't know anything. And what about the ghost? Who are these ghosts? 
what is devils they are i think the fallen angels very good exactly correct these are the fallen angels so if he uh, once if he die what happen our love enmity hatred everything is gone so there is nothing that is going to come back and you take revenge on all the things and all and uh, uh, we saw these things also and uh, uh, these are the fallen angels then uh, okay and it okay now the whole world who is the whole world believing is it they are they believing the god's word or believing a lie of the devil he said to eve no that you shall surely not die whom the world world is believing today are Evil they world. believing correct are they believing the word of god if you see no they are all believing the the word of uh, the devil saying that you shall surely not die after that you go here and there and all the things and all okay good so all these things uh, we have seen and after this we saw the uh, you see misconceptions of uh, so many things uh, in the bible like uh, samuel we just know so uh, you gave a good explanation about samuel it's not a real samuel it was a uh, witch uh, who brought up samuel and after that one uh, you see we saw uh, uh, the vision you see about uh, moses and elia coming and speaking to jesus what is this one what is the meaning of this one is it a real thing masamba is it a real thing that happened there uh yeah uh elia and moses hmm. um, jesus uh, just now we read no nobody has ascended to heaven um, right now john 3:13 then how did the moses and elia come near it is vision sir correct uh, john 5:28 we read no marvel not at this ever shall come yeah. shall come all that are in the grave shall hear his voice not that they going to already sir, come hmm. sir hmm. How, how disciples knew that they are moses and elisa even they, they already they know there there is a large uh, long time difference uh, between moses and elisa and disciples no sir very good correct exactly right but if you read in matthew 17 chapter verse 3 it says jesus was speaking with them jesus was talking with them so how jesus yeah. was talking ha huh? moses you would have seen this person and called him as moses you would have seen this person and called him as elia that is yeah. how they identified oh this is elia and this is moses what is there was three so if you see in the bible this is a vision uh, most of the read matthew 17:9 Matthew seventeen nine. And as they came down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, saying, "Tell the vision to no man until the son of man be risen again from the dead." Vision, 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 vision is not a real thing. You see, we have seen the vision of Daniel, second chapter, seven chapter, correct now. Uh, this vision is also a lot of vision are there so even here also this is a vision this is not a real thing at all okay and uh, the thief on the cross did the thief on the cross go to heaven thief yeah jesus said that no hmm. you will be with me on same day hmm. in paradise yeah correct no so he went to heaven huh? okay the same day went to heaven correct right, no yeah okay did jesus go to heaven the same day no sir no 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 then how come we can tell lies to the thief oh jesus still lies ha huh? oh jesus can tell lies hey, you tell me does does jesus tell lies or not no he sir doesn't tell lie ah then what you what the problem should be the problem should not be with the jesus statement then the problem should surely be with our understanding of that statement correct yeah. no yes 
Ah, when Jesus himself did not go to heaven the same day, how can he make a false promise to the thief uh, that you shall uh, come with me today to paradise? Uh, and moreover, did the thief repent of his sin? Did he confess his sin? Did he tell, forgive my sin? He doesn't, uh, he doesn't. He doesn't say. He doesn't say. Then, so simply you will, uh, uh, you just because he is dying next to Christ, uh, immediately Jesus will take him to heaven. Uh. Moreover, uh, can anybody simply go to heaven? What did Jesus say? If any man, if anybody wants to be my disciple, what he should do? He must lift his family. He must not love his soul, body. Hmm. What did Jesus say? Deny yourself. Huh. <coughs> huh. And follow him. Uh, carry the cross and follow him. Uh, did a thief uh, deny himself, carry the cross and follow Jesus? Uh? Where did he follow? He was a thief. Uh, so, here actually, uh, the thief asked to remember me. Jesus said, okay, I will remember. So, actually what Jesus was saying is that, okay, okay, today only I am telling you, I will remember you in my kingdom. That statement only is here actually wrongly punctuated. You see, the punctuation mark. Uh, read that verse in the Bible, brother. Look, 2343, read with uh, Most of the read from the Bible. Look, 2343. Mm. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, To do today shall though be with me in paradise. Uh, where is the comma? Is it before today or after today? Uh, uh... In, in one verse, uh, before today and another verse, after today. Ah, before no, no, today. My uh, my is uh, say unto thee, after uh, after thee, there is comma. Ah, so that means it is before today. Actually, that punctuation mark is not there in the original Bible. Originally, when the Bible was written, this is not there at all. This is put only in the English translation. Actually, you see, that comma should come after today. Huh? After today? After today. You just read the verse. It, putting comma after, after today. today. Oh, yeah. Uh, today. Hmm. Mm. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee today. Hmm. Shall thou be with me in paradise? The meaning is totally changed. Hmm. The first meaning is that, Verily I send to thee, Today you shall be with me in paradise. But the second one, You put the comma after today and read, It says, Verily, verily I send to thee today. Today itself I am telling you, You shall be with me in paradise. When? Not now. When I return in my kingdom, Then you shall be with me in paradise. That is the actually real statement meaning of Christ. See, small words can change a lot of meaning. In Genesis, we read, no? what did uh, God say? You shall not eat the fruit thereof. If you eat, you shall, what happen? You shall surely die. die. What did Satan do? You shall surely not die. Ah, see, only one not. One not change the entire thing. Even, see, one typist was typing. The judge gave the commandment. He said, kill him. Kill him. Comma. Not spare him. But when the typist was typing, instead of putting the comma after him, he put the comma after not. The sentence itself was totally changed. Kill him not. Comma. Spare him. Here also, there is a comma mistake only. Okay. Why I am telling you? Because these are all not there in the original Bible at all. Okay. And moreover, what is the meaning of the word paradise? Paradise means what, brother, in the Bible? Heaven. Heaven. Can you show me one scripture which says that it is heaven? No, sir. Garden. Garden. Garden, okay. Is there any scripture, brother, to prove that uh, paradise is heaven? No, sir. Paradise is garden, sir. Okay. Most of brother, do you have any scripture? Mm, no, but... Uh, <laughs> we have any scripture, no? Ah, there is no scripture. But if you find, you can let me know. 
I will show you a scripture which clearly proves that paradise is not heaven, but it is a garden of Eden. Read yes. Revelation 2 7, brother. Also, brother, read Revelation 2 7. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. To him that overcome will I give to it of the tree of life, which is the midst of the paradise of God. See? What is there in the middle of the paradise of God? And uh, read again, concentrate and read again. I will give to it the tree of life. Uh, tree of life. Ah, very good. So, tree of life is where? In the paradise. Middle. Yeah. Ah, in the middle of paradise, no? Correct, huh? Huh? Mm, Yes. Now, was there any tree of life? Before, is it given in the Bible? Was there anywhere? It say it is said that uh, there was a tree of life in the middle. In Genesis, sir. Very good. Read. It is there in the Bible. Genesis two nine, brother. And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree there is that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life also in the midst, midst of the garden. Ah, and the tree, see, the tree yeah. of life also in the middle of garden. garden. Uh, did you observe? Uh, so what is the meaning of paradise? Paradise means garden. Therefore, if you see in the Greek, if you take that word paradise and see in the Greek, it is actually park, Eden condition. So when Christ is going to come at the second coming, he is going to turn this world as a beautiful Eden. That is what actually Jesus is saying here. Huh? To the thief. When Jesus is going to come, he is going to rule for a thousand years now. Correct now? Yes. The birth itself is going to be like Garden of Eden now. Yeah. Yeah. That is the time the thief also will come back in the resurrection. When all the unbelievers will come. And he will be remembered. Okay. You died along with me on the cross. I will remember you. He will give some special favor to him. That's all. Not that he will be taken to heaven. If we were, if it was so easy to go to heaven, then why should we read the Bible? Let us all leave everything. Enjoy the life. Last moment, dying moment, we will repent and turn to God. No? Will God take us to heaven? Tell brother, if you repent, if you repent at the last moment, Will God take us to heaven? No answer. Tell me yes or no. Yes, sir. Repentance lead us to heaven, uh -huh. but not same time, no. Correct. My and my question is that if you repent at the last moment, just before we're dying, like the thief on the cross, just moments yeah. before he repented. So just because yeah. we repent at the moments before, will we be taken to heaven? Muslim brother, will we be taken to heaven? Will God take us to heaven? Uh, I think uh, repenting in last moment, if he doesn't know before, no. Uh, if he doesn't know about the Christ, uh, hmm. then if he came to know on last moment and he repeat, uh, repent his, repent on from his sin, then I think it can. But uh, he knows and do careless about the word of God and he came on last stage and do uh, repent then I think it will not. Correct. Uh, but imagine if he doesn't know at all anything. Suddenly at the last moment if he realizes uh, and if he repents, uh, will he be going to heaven? <laughs> huh? Read from the Bible. See, this is how we need to study the Bible. Okay? See, yes. How to study the Bible? Here a little. Huh? Here a little? Huh? There a little. That is the reason we are sending the notes. That is the reading reason we are sending the YouTube link. Why? But listen again and again. Hear the scriptures. Study the scriptures. Search the scriptures. Read, brother. Philippians 2. Philippians second chapter, brother. Okay. Twelfth verse. Uh, 
Philippines two. Twelve. Two twelve. Mm. Wherever my beloved as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Okay, work out your salvation with the fear and trembling. Why should you work out? No, how do we know? No, just accepting Christ will go take us to heaven. No, why should we worry? Why should we fear? What is there to fear? Aram eh? say last moment we can repent and go. No, eh? Acts 14 22. Read, brother. Confirming the soul of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must through must tribulation enter into the kingdom of God. Yeah, must tribulation. Can we enter into the kingdom of God last moment? Huh? <laughs> no. Uh, no. Bible doesn't say so. Brother. That's the reason Jesus said. If any man wants to be my disciple, let him deny himself, carry the cross and follow me. Not that we can just at the last moment and go to heaven. You see, what is the purpose of Lord taking us to heaven? Tell me. We have studied the subject about church now. Yes. We studied the subject about church now. Who is the church? What is the meaning of church? Is it a building? We are, we are the church. Yeah, the church. Why is Christ saluting the church now? For what purpose? Uh, for what for, to be with him for a thousand years. Yes. What 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 the church is going to do with him for a thousand years? To be with him on what 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 is the work they're going to do? Church mm. going to glory God. Oh, sing hallelujah, amen, praises. Uh, being on his script, sir, na. Uh, oh. Obeying him. Okay. Obey what? What will God tell to him? What will God tell to the church? They will be in front of God. God will be in front of them. What will they do? Seeing God, they will always keep on telling, praise you, praise you Lord, praise you Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, amen, amen. Will God uh, be happy with it? Will the church be only doing this thing? For thousand ruling years? the world, sir. Ah, ruling the world. To uplift the dead world back to perfection. This is the work that the church is going to be allotted. Not ruling to... the 1000 year old. Yes. That, uh... Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Jesus, along with the church, is going to rule on the dead world. All the dead people are going to come back. It is the duty of the church to bring each and every mankind back to perfection slowly. Amen. You see, this is the work, not to go to heaven and sing hallelujah, hallelujah, oh, praise the Lord. No, 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 no. If God wanted such a thing, he could have created more million, millions of angels. But why only the church from the earth, from sinful condition, lift a sinner, a sinner itself is possible. That is the reason, purpose of setting the church, not to just uh, Go and be in heaven. You see, therefore, repenting at the last moment and all can never take you to heaven. Okay, brother? Whether you know the truth or do not know the truth, everything is the same. Okay? Yes, brother. What did Jesus say? Revelation 3.21. Read, brother. Revelation 3.21, brother. Read, brother. Uh -huh. To, to him that overcome will I grant to sit with me in my house throne ah, even underline to him yes. that overcometh not that to him who repented at last moment I'll give you you need to overcome lot of struggles will come James 1 12 what does he say blessed is the man you endured temptation correct no correct no yeah, brother? brother yes brother then if there is no temptation if you repent at last moment you can go to heaven then why God should have given us the Bible? Let him take the Bible. No, why understanding at all? Don't want no. Last moment, God can do some miracle and open our eyes. No, immediately we'll accept and go to heaven. No, 
This is not the way we treat the scriptures. Scriptures is different. How do we study the Bible? Here a little? Here a little. Very good. Search the scriptures. Okay, brother? Okay, brother. Very good. So, okay. Today we revised a lot of things. So, next week we will continue with the regular classes. So, hope you understood. So, kindly I request both of you to go through all the PDF notes and all the recordings. So, when you are free, just play it and keep it in your ears. You will at least catch some points. Okay, brother? Yeah, okay, brother. Thank next you so Thursday, much. I hope that you will all be there on time. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. We will be on time. Thank you. Good. God bless.